creep. Burrs. How the heck are you crazy creeps? I am really excited about today's vlog. If you guys have been following the channel, you know I love the tie-ins between Portland, notable people, famous people from here, and also kind of the underdog, the lesser known folks that may have not have gotten the, I don't know, attention, respect that they deserved until maybe after they passed or somebody had done a story. Which brings me to today's vlog, William Douglas Porter, the Watkins man. That's right. Most of you may be from Portland, may remember him. Iconic door-to-door -door salesman, would walk throughout Portland on feet, hand to foot, or you know, foot to pavement, shake a hand, meet someone, door-to-door, -door. had to have been rough. And my, and, wow. The, his biopic, when I watched it, well, documentary kind of thing, made me cry. It's a good one. Stay tuned, The Watkins Man. Portland, Oregon starts now. There's also a goat here. The goat. And some may consider Bill to be the greatest of all time. Acronym for goat. When it came to Selling items, all sorts of items, door to door. All right, just waiting to cross 39th here, and it's a go. Check it out, Kermit. Yeah, these are all over Portland. Here along Northwest 33rd and Siskiyou, and what brings me here today in particular is this house actually that sits right behind me here at 3060 Northeast 33rd. This was the home, oh wait, I apologize, it's not 3060, 3100 is actually the home to William Porter, the Watkins man, that's right. Back in the day, people would go door to door selling things and Bill knew exactly how to do that. That was his niche. Years later, actually having an entire movie dedicated to him called Door to Door, which I will insert pictures of and who played him and whatnot. But Bill was very well known, very well loved in his neighborhood. Um, this was actually his mom's residence. Now Bill, not only being a very simple, loving, kind, very hardworking gentleman, lived with his mom because Bill unfortunately had a disability that he had when he was born. When he was first born, the doctors were, would remove Bill from his mom, which I found pictures of his mom as well, which I will insert. And it actually pierced Bill's eardrum, which caused permanent brain damage. And Bill was considered to be officially disabled, never letting that actually dictate what he would accomplish in his life right here in this house and for many years Bill would go door to door knock on each person's door he probably knocked on these guys door all these doors around here many of times in fact if you went up to any of these residents if they remembered him they would probably know who you were talking about and right up here Bill would type out with one hand all of his invoices and orders for the day so he ran his entire business himself which I thought was so honorable not to mention Bill didn't drive, so he would walk door to door throughout all of Portland up into the West Hills. Rain, snow, sun, didn't matter. Bill never let anything stop him from accomplishing his life goals. Now, not only was Bill a successful salesman, but the people that he sold his products to for many, many, many years remembered him as being very dedicated to kind of not taking no for an answer. He would always have something for you, whether it be laundry soap, um, you know, something to do housework with, paint, anything you had, he would take an order. He had a bunch of little pictures that he arranged himself, laminated. He would bring them to the door. A lot of people would invite him in to talk about, you know, what the latest sales were for today. 
and then he would get all of his sails and literally walk all the way back here to Portland, Northeast 33rd, and right up top here he would type out with a typewriter by hand all of his invoices. Um, Bill was offered disability and declined because he wanted to, you know, continue his success as not giving up. And like I said, when I watched the, I think it was ABC News that finally did a documentary of him um, when he passed, um, it really did bring a tear to my eye because years later, living here with his mom, his mom actually developed a really bad, severe case of dementia. And when Bill would go out during the day to earn money to pay for the mortgage, his mom thought he was just gone. She couldn't remember what was up. So it was really unfortunate that Bill didn't get the credit that he deserved while he was alive. They did make the movie, but I wanted to come by here today and show you where all that took place. And about the guy other than he lived there? Right, he would type out all of his invoices right up top here. He was a disabled gentleman yeah. and he was highly loved by Portlanders. Yeah. They he actually did a movie. Like Boy of H. Basie in it, right? That's who, oh, thank you so much for reminding me because yeah. I'm out here talking about it. It's I couldn't remember. Door to door. Right? Door to door, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm talking with the neighbor now and he was telling me a little bit. Yeah. I really wanted to honor him because I do a lot of Portland vlogs and this story really, I mean, oh yeah, my gosh, yeah, how incredible. Long before we've been here, so. Okay, but I was telling them on the video, if you were to probably knock like he did on any of these doors and they were residents from when he lived here, they probably knew him for sure. Yeah. Um, but thank you for your time and yeah. I hate to bother you. Oh, no problem. Um, the neighbor there, they were informing me that he he's newer to the neighborhood and stuff, but he definitely remembers the movie and he even told me, the actor's name. I'm actually gonna go knock on the door just for a moment and see if anybody's home and maybe we can get a tour. Who knows, we'll just see. I just kinda wanna let them know what I was doing if they are home, that way they're not weirded out if they were looking out the windows too or whatever. But yeah, William Porter, Bill Watkins, or Bill Porter, the Watkins man. He's actually buried here at Mount Calvary Cemetery um, and his headstone actually reads the Watkins man. And I believe originally his headstone there's a pretty cool backstory about it. I don't know fully how it goes, but from my recollection, he didn't really originally have a headstone, and then people that knew of him and things kind of helped that happen. So if I can find pictures of that, I will insert it now, but I really wanted to show you kind of where all that took place. Um, and in the movie, they did a great job of really depicting his character and how loving and great and dedicated he was, really not never to you know, give up. So pretty darn cool. Knock on the door real quick. I find it ironic that there's a no soliciting sign. And that was kind of Bill's. That was his job. Soliciting his products. They're not home. I wanted to just at least kind of let him know. I'm pretty sure the neighbor will fill him in. Um, but yeah. Such a great story. And it just it hit me so, so deep. Just because, you know, trials and tribulations and things in life that happen. You just really can't let that dictate what you're gonna do in life. So, again, his house right here in Portland, Oregon, surrounded by all these beautiful trees. As I'm just kind of researching a little bit more too, he was born originally in San Francisco, which I thought he was, I thought he was born here in Portland as well, but he moved here at a young age with his mom, with his mother and his, you know, birthing caused cerebral palsy. And like I said, he refused to go on the disability and eventually convinced the Watkins Incorporated company to hire him as a door-to-door -door salesman, selling all their products. And he was known to like walk all over Portland, like I said, up to 10 miles a day. Um, and other than the, the movie later on in his life, he really wasn't mentioned other than early on in 95 when the Oregonian ran a story of him and basically about his determination to never give up. Um, and he was also featured on ABC's 2020. That was the video that I saw um, for 2002. It was a made for TV movie on T TNT called Door to Door. Again, with the neighbor reminding me starring William H. Macy, Kyra Sedgwick and Helen Muir. So pretty darn cool to think that all happened right here. And like I said, I'll definitely do my best to insert some pictures and stuff about Bill um, and some of the products that he sold and just some of the old timey pictures that I was able to find online. So pretty darn cool.
if you guys do choose to visit some of the locations that I show on the channel, make sure you're respectful, always stay off the property. Um, if you do see the neighbors out or people watching, let them know what you're doing, um, if they'd ask or whatever. So but yeah, make sure you're very respectful. As Bill was to his community, um, I have to say, even these days, especially these days, but even back then, going door to door, it must have been super, I mean, what a job to have to go door to door. Even when I went up to his house here, the dog was barking, no soliciting. Um, so people really don't like that. I mean, door to door really doesn't exist anymore. Um, but it's pretty, pretty impressive that he was able to do that and actually get people to buy his products. I thought that was quite the quite the difficult uh, accomplishment and to never give up you know you probably had to go door to door a hundred different times and have you know 50 or 60 of the people tell you no get off the property um, just doing these videos I kind of know how he probably felt going door to door so a little different back then but still definitely a very difficult job to have and uh, yeah I give him mad mad credit for that yeah just standing here just really like thinking about man I mean I just I know I just said it but to be able to have to go door to door and knock and get people to come actually to their door these days and sell them something is really unheard of and uh, even back then that's got to be the most stressful thing to have so many people tell you no and I, I guess the probability is is every time you get no you're that much closer to a yes but his inspiration of just never giving up and just really doing what he wanted to do regardless of his situations and, and and trials and tribulations and then with his mom getting diagnosed with dementia really bad he eventually moved into a residential facility out in Gresham which is funny because that's kind of my stomping grounds and he eventually passed away I think at the age of 83 I'll definitely leave the correct info and everything but yeah really a, a really touching kind of bittersweet story the Watkins man and that's gonna do it from here in Portland today I love you guys very much for always tuning in and creeping with make sure you guys watch I'll leave links to that uh, 2020 special too if I can find it and thanks again to the neighbor for coming out and saying hello and kind of also sharing some info that was really cool so I love you guys. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this particular video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. One more thing. Bill had an assistant that would help him kind of get around, but he did he he was he was very adamant about doing everything himself. He would type all the invoices one-handed because one of his hands were actually kind of, his, his fingers didn't work well because of the cerebral palsy over the years. And just never gave up, man. That's just, wow. That gets the old feelers for sure. Rest in peace, the Watkins man.